place we're checking out our channel today, what we're going to be looking at is a 2019 Dodge Durango Pursuit that we built for the Glen Rock, New Jersey Police Department. Up front we have a Sentina PB450L with the integrated sound off signal lights. These lights are in tri-color. They have the white override for additional takedown, left alley, and right alley features for additional scene lighting around the vehicle. Up top you see the sound off signal and force light bar. This light bar is in a dual color configuration that also has the white override feature. Also in the vehicle we have a 100 watt speaker along with the Phoenix hammer, low frequency sign. Okay, taking a look at the side of the vehicle. Underneath the mirror we have sound off signal intersectors in dual colors. The white flashes when the car is in park. The white also goes steady when the alley lights turn on to provide additional scene lighting to add officer safety to the vehicle. Corner of the light bar. This light bar is an Enforce light bar. Shuts off when you open the corner to help pre prevent the officer from being blinded when you open the door. In the rear side window, we have sound off signal deck grill lights that are also in dual color to provide additional warning. All right, so taking a look at the back of the vehicle, up top we have sound off signal dual color deck grill Enforces. In the tail lights, what we've done is we've reintegrated the parking lights into the blueprint electrical system to provide additional warning. And then what we've done is we've gone and replaced the reverse lights with an LED bulb and then also tied that into the blueprint electrical system. They go white on with steady, they add additional reverse feature, and they provide additional rear scene function along with the Enforce fits that are mounted by the license plate. These are in tri-color. These also go white with reverse when the vehicle is put in reverse. What you'll also notice is when you open up the hatch of the vehicle, we shut the lights off from the tailgate so that they're not flashing up and warning. And then we've also shut off the lights on the rear tailgate here so that they're not flashing back into the officer. You can see on the tailgate lip here, we've added sound off signal, four inch M powers in single color configuration. And then we've also added a strip light. All the features with the car opening, closing the doors is all tied in through the Bluetooth electrical system with the in-link module that requires no splicing of the vehicle's electrical system to get all these features out of the vehicle. One other thing that we've added is to help outline the officer's appearance when you're coming up behind the vehicle. Is we, when you open the door, it shuts off the warning lights on the side of the vehicle, so that way it's not blocking the officer's silhouette from any cars that may be coming forward. Taking a look at the prisoner area of the vehicle, we have a Sentina single cell prisoner partition with their new TPO plastic transport seat. And then you can see it also has the center out seat belts that allow the officers to not have to reach over in order to buckle a prisoner in. So taking a look at the driver's side of the second row seat area, you can see we have their dual weapon rack mounted for their, uh, their rifle and their shotgun along with their ticket printer. We've also mounted their radio speaker to the poly partition along with their flashlight. If you like what you see, check out our website, www.1075vehicles.com, and you can view all of our latest deliveries and our available build options for you. Thanks for checking out our video, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate your attention and support. Thank you.